going on motherfuckers so today I'm working on some wiring on the Chevelle and I'll be the first one to tell you I'm not a fucking wire at all but I'm gonna give it a good good old try and um, we'll see how it goes I'm gonna wire the fans up the electric fans are right there on the radiator I haven't mounted them up yet they came out of a little Suzuki car they fit the radiator pretty damn good so the plan I have plans right here. Hook, hook them up. So it'll go through a circuit breaker, and battery circuit breaker into a relay. They all get wired around and fucked around. One side goes down to the fans. One side goes down this way to the temperature switch, which will be in the um, in the uh, car or in the block I'm sorry and then this one um, is the manual override and it comes up from the ground and comes into this line right here that goes through to the temperature switch no problem I got for the uh, relays here's I, I mounted this all on a piece of aluminum it cost me ten dollars for those stupid screws to mount all this and make it look halfway decent this is just a piece of aluminum I found here at the yard. Cut it, put it in there. So I'll mount the, um, like this. And then where the hard part comes in is making it look good, which I have no idea. I just ain't all the way plugged in, but you'll get the hint. So then you're gonna have to make it nice and pretty all together. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it look as good as I want, but as long as I take my time and and uh, this doesn't look bad for what I did. Um, I got all the relays and the circuit breakers and the pigtails, along with I don't know where the uh, temperature switch is. Um, with the temperature switch, and it was all um, seventy bucks. Now you can go buy a kit. To do this from places like Summit or Jegs or something like that for about 70 80 bucks. But the, everybody claims that all the relays and all that stuff is garbage. So that's why I'm doing my own setup with that. I don't know where I put that tip to switch. Who knows? It's here somewhere. I fucking can't run off. It's not like I need it tomorrow. Um. So, that's what's going on with the clunker. Um, welcome to my life, right? Just another day in paradise. Now it's bothering me I can't find that fucking uh, temperature switch. It's probably in this box, maybe. Or in the, uh, hey, look at that. It's in the Napa fucking book bag. What do you know? This stupid piece of shit, and I don't know if I'm going to like where this temperature's at, comes off, come, turns on at 200 and brings it down to 190 and, and then turns the fans off. You can play with this, you can, you know, it all depends on how good those fans keep the, keep the car cool in the desert heat, so. All I can do is try, I'll try this one, and then um, if it doesn't work where the shit, then I'll switch it to hotter, colder. You just got to see how efficient that radiator is, being a copper radiator with those uh, Suzuki fans. I also bought some heat shrink um, connectors for the circuit breakers. Um, probably not the best brand in the world. Um, they're not gold plated or anything like that, but I didn't have any... Um, here. I got a pretty nice little wiring kit here. You know, I don't want to pick it all the way up. It has just about everything I'd ever need in here, but let me see what I had. Um, I didn't have what I wanted. These are just regular non-heat shrink shit. It should work fine if I wanted to tape the piss out of it. That doesn't work. I don't want to tape it. Um, these are heat shrink. I have some nice butt connectors 
and um, some small ones, which I'll probably never use. Those are itty bitty. And uh, this is a butt connector to a spade. Those are pretty nice, all heat shrink. So those are good to have. I'm gonna be using all this stuff on the fuel system. Um, on the nitrous system, here's some more right here. Pretty small line. I need to do uh, 12 gauge all the way back to the back of the car for all the all of the um, fuel pump and all that shit. Plus all the fan wiring, this is all 12 gauge. Now the middle, the middle prong on these um, relays, I don't have to use the middle prong. Wish me luck. I, I just got to start laying it out and before I cut any wires, just kind of see what it's going to look like. And I don't know. Kind of, I'm dreading cutting into this fucking shit. Worst thing I do is fuck up a pigtail. Let's <clears throat> see how much those were. Because I'm probably going to fuck one up. Here they are. Um. I guess that's the connectors. Ten bucks. Bastards. The circuit breakers were uh, $3.99 a piece. And then um, the temperature sender was $19.49. The two relays were $17.26, so eight. 63 a piece for the relays, which ain't bad. And the 40 amp circuit breakers are 399 a piece. That's that's pretty good too. So I don't wanna I don't wanna fuck these up if I ain't got to. So well, that shit's oh I see how it is. It kind of moves inside there. Yeah. There you go. And I have all the um, 12 gauge. I have a lot of 12 gauge to go back to the back of the car. I think I have enough red for that, for the fuel pump. And then um, that's the other thing. I'm, I'm gonna have to run from this. I'll be on the firewall. I'm gonna drill holes in the corners and then uh, probably put a spacer in there so it sits off the firewall just a hair because of these nuts sticking out. I tried to get these as small as I could. So it'll sit away from the firewall that much be easy to get to if there's a problem um, and I'm hoping that <laughs> there won't be a problem hopefully I get this shit on the right way the first time but who knows but like I said now I'm just gonna figure out um, how to put all this and make it look presentable because you know when you open the hood you're gonna be able to see this and if this looks like shit it would drive me crazy. I, I don't know what other people would think, but I'm sure they'd think I was a fucking real piece of shit if if this was all cobbed together. So I'm going to try and make it as nice as I possibly can. And, um... We'll see. Fuck, I don't know. I wish I had a fucking beer. So let's take a look around in here. We haven't been in the container for a while. There's the hood up above me. There's the hood and the toolbox. Let's see here. Let's see what we got for let's see what we got for wire. Oh yeah, what kinds of wire in here? Let's see. Here's 14 gauge. That's no good. 14 gauge. Bastard. Well, looks like uh the king will be buying some freaking wire. I know I got something here though. Not much. Hmm. I don't even know where that's at. Here it is. I don't think this is this ain't 14 gauge either. Or this ain't. Fuck. What do you do? Um use the little uh drill press, little harbor freight drill press the other day, making shackles for for the uh 72 or 70 Chevy four-wheel drive three-quarter ton for Coors Cunt Willie. Um, what else do we have in here? Let me hold my let me hold this differently. I don't hang up on anybody. Oh, I gotta go. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs>